Melody. So today's video, we are going to be doing my empties. Basically, we're going to be going into my trash for like the last five months, four months. I don't know. I've had this here since I moved into this house and I've been living in this house since December. So the last six months of trash. Holy moly. Why haven't I done this sooner? <laughs> So I'm going to start a new thing. So I'm going to start doing empties at the end of the month, every single month. So that way this doesn't happen because there is no way I'm going to be able to do this all in one video. I'm definitely going to have to split it up. I was thinking I could split it up in half, but looking at it right now, I might have to be splitting it up into three videos because it's so much trash. Holy moly. So yeah. So without further ado, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Madison. Feel free to subscribe right here. That way you get, I like said that like a song. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe right here. That way you get notified for future videos. And now let's just go ahead and get on into my trash. All right, so first off here, we have a face mask. And this is the SK2 facial treatment mask and it's the Radiance and Moisture Boosting Mask. So I believe I had this sent to me by Influencer when they sent me that little like SK2 essence thing. I was gonna try that out, but honestly, I was too scared to try it out because my skin is so sensitive. I'm glad I didn't try it out because I did this mask probably a day or two ago and it gave me a lot of little bumps like right here. So my skin did not like this at all. I have very sensitive skin and yeah, not everything is gonna work. So yeah, if I was gonna do a dope or nope on this, this would be a nope, not for me. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way because I'm sure people saw this in the thumbnail and they're like, what is that in there? <laughs> and it's a curling iron. This actually went kapook on me. This is the Beauty Tool Pro. I honestly thought this was Hot Tools, but it's not. No wonder why it broke on me. You guys know I love my Hot Tool curling irons, but this is something else. And yeah, it totally broke on me. This little, like, you can hear it. It doesn't like close all the way. I don't know, yeah, you guys can see that right there. It stopped closing all the way and it started being a real big pain in the butt. So I went and got some more hot tool curling irons, which I love so much better, but yeah, this broke on me. But it was actually really good. I did have this for a really long time. It was a good curling iron, but it just broke on me. All right, so next up here, I have two products from Ollie. And these are the Restful Sleep for Healthy Sleep Cycle. It's melatonin, L-theanine, theanine, L-theanine and botanical so i'm already on my third jar of these which is soon going to be empty as well i have trouble sleeping at night i will my mind will just keep going and i can't get it to stop and i will stay up all night i think it also has a lot to do with being on the computer a lot and being on my phone a lot so yeah i hear that affects your sleep patterns so i started taking melatonin just to get like more of a natural way to fall asleep instead of taking like avil pm or tylenol pm so i thought this would be a lot better for like my body and i've been loving these i take two gummies every single night they knock me out i don't feel groggy in the morning it's amazing i also have a ton of other vitamins by this brand too you can get it at target and i love it so yeah i really really did enjoy these and i'm already almost done with my third bottle <laughs> All right, so next up here, I have some makeup remover, and this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. This is a balm, you guys. It's a cleansing balm. It removes all your makeup. It is amazing. I obviously love it. I've already been through two of them. I do have a third one as a backup, but I'm trying to use up my other cleansing oils first before I like open that up because I really love this. This is my favorite one so far. It's just like a tub and then inside is like a cleansing balm i like wipe these dry you guys i took out every bit i could possibly take out of this it's amazing it gets off all your makeup feels so good and moisturizing on your skin and the only bad thing is that you definitely don't want to be wearing your contacts while doing it because it will make it foggy but it goes away shortly after that's the only thing i don't like about it is that I, my eyes get really foggy with it but i love how well it removes my makeup it makes my skin moisturize it just feels really good and also you can keep it on longer just to moisturize your skin as well so i definitely recommend these to remove your makeup you guys it feels so good all right so next up i have conditioner here and this is the viviskull healthy hair starts from within gorgeous growth densifying conditioner so I remember when I was like doing a video for them, it was like, I just kept saying desynthesizing. I said this weird name for it, but it's densifying. I 
Love this stuff, you guys. It is amazing. You can get it at Ulta, you can get it at CVS, you can get it at a lot of different places. I'm still working on the shampoo because as we all know, we always run out of the conditioner faster than the shampoo. And honestly, I've been like kind of rotating all my shampoos right now. Like I just like, I have so many that I've just been like rotating through, but love this stuff. My hair feels amazing after I use this. And I've actually had a lot of you that went and purchased this and said that it's completely changed your hair. So I definitely recommend picking this up if you want a little bit more thicker and just softer hair. It just makes your hair extremely healthy. So really love this stuff. All right, so next up here I have a foundation and this is the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation in Oil Free. So this is honestly the only mattifying foundation I can use. It doesn't break me out. It actually helps clear my skin. If I'm going through a really bad breakout, I will put this on and just wear it for like the week and my skin will just clear right up because this is just, my skin loves this stuff. The only bad thing about this is that it definitely breaks up on you. You can't really put on any concealer or anything on top of it because it does dry down to a powder. So you guys know you can't put liquids on top of a powder and it breaks up. That's what I hate about it. And you can't like blend or buff too much into the skin. Otherwise it'll break up on you again. So that is like a really big down part to this foundation, but I love it because it does keep me mad all day and it doesn't break me out. I'm really trying to dig in there to see if I can find doubles of anything, but all right, so next up I have a facial cleanser and this is the Obagi, I think it's called Obagi, and it's the Cleansy Derm MD Daily Care Foaming Cleanser. Love this stuff, you guys, it's amazing. It's got a salicylic acid of 2% in it. It removes dirt and excess oil, leaving skin clean and fresh. This stuff is amazing. If you have acne, but you have dry skin and proactive tends to strip your skin and not be that great for it, then I definitely recommend checking out Obagi. I believe you can go to their website and see what stores sell it in your area. It's amazing and it's not that expensive either and it just feels really cooling on the skin. Like it definitely has that menthol in it because it's very like minty after you put it on, but this stuff does wonders for my skin. My skin loves it. It doesn't strip it of any oils, doesn't over dry my skin, yet it's battling breakouts. So definitely recommend this, you guys. I think you would really love it if you have acne prone skin, especially if you're an adult. All right, so next up I have some makeup removing wipes and I have three different kinds here. So let's go through this quickly. So the first one I have is the Oveeno Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. These are actually really nice and gentle on the skin. I love using makeup wipes for like swatches and stuff that I do on my hands and for like my close-up product shots. They always do wonders, but then sometimes I do get lazy and I wanna use one to take off my makeup. So I really do like the Aveeno. It's very gentle on the skin. All right, so next up here, I have the Yes to Cucumber Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. I used to love these because one, they smelled so good. They smelled amazing but they actually started drying me out a little bit. So I had to stop using these. So I only use them to like remove swatches. But if you are not like super dry and you're oily but sensitive, I definitely recommend this. But if you're dry and sensitive, I wouldn't try these out. These definitely dry out your skin. And last but not least, I bought the Kirkland brand from Costco because Costco sells it like in bulk, you guys. And I go through these so fast because I'm constantly removing swatches and stuff from my hands. But these are the daily facial towelettes for all skin types, paraben-free formula. I actually even use this on my skin. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't dry me out. It feels really good. So definitely go try out the Costco brand. I think you guys will really love it because it's great for all skin types, good for sensitive skin especially. And you could buy like a bunch of them in bulk for like super cheap. So highly recommend these ones. All right, so next up I have some products from Petology and I've actually talked about this one in a favorites. It's amazing, you guys. This is the Illuminate Flash Mask Facial Sheets for ideal for dull, lackluster skin and uneven tone. Amazing sheet mask, I love it. It's not the cloth kind. I think it was more of like, what's it called? It was like a different like product rather than the cloth ones that you usually see. I don't know. It was amazing. It fit and stayed on my skin so well. I hate it when you get those sheet masks that just like slip right off and don't fit your face well enough and they just don't feel like they're doing anything. So really love these. I highly recommend them. They are more expensive because they are not like the 100% cotton ones. Usually the cotton ones are cheaper, but the product, like it's like a more of like a, I don't even know what to call it, like silicone-ish or something. I don't know. It's a different type of sheet mask. It's amazing. 
highly recommend these. I've raved about them in a favorites video and love it. Another product from Patchology here are the Flash Patch Eye Gels, which again, are amazing. This is a little sample one. You can actually buy it in this little jar right here and get a bunch of them. A ton of actors and actresses use these before they like get into makeup. It really just refreshes the under eye and takes away any puffiness or sw like swelling that you may have. And yeah, I really, oh, it's like a gel. That's probably what this is. It's like a more of a gel mask. That's how this one is too. And I believe I went out the night before and I was just really like puffy and swollen on my eyes. I was like, God, I need something for my eyes right now. Like they just hurt. So I put these on and it seriously took that away. Made my eyes feel amazing. Highly, highly recommend these, you guys. I think you will love them. All right, so next up I have some more sheet masks from Pure Lease. And these are the blue, well, yeah, blue lotus and seaweed and blue lotus and white tea. So this one is going to prevent. So it's gonna intensely moisturize, nourishing, and renewing. And the seaweed one is more of intensely moisturizing, soothing, and balancing. I really enjoyed both of these. I have nothing bad to say about them. They're really nice and refreshing on the skin. I love sheet masks, especially in the morning time. Like say if I'm not quite ready to get my day going, I'll go make myself some coffee and put on a sheet mask and just kind of enjoy my morning. But the worst thing is when you get the coffee like around your lips. I remember one time I took my sheet mask off and I didn't realize, like I totally forgot that I was drinking coffee and I was like, oh, I thought it was, I thought it was bleeding around my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, TMI there, but I seriously thought I was bleeding. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? I went and looked at my mouth. I was like, wait, nothing's there. Like, and then I realized it was my coffee. Yeah. All right, so now I have another sheet mask. You can tell my love for sheet mask right now. This is the pharmacy one that I actually got in BoxyCharm and it's the brightening one and it's the hydrating coconut gel mask. I really enjoyed this one. I really did like it. It didn't break me out. It didn't affect my skin in any way. It just felt really, really good and moisturizing. Definitely did enjoy this. I promise you guys, we only have two more sheet masks. The next one is called Skin Laundry, and this is a hydrating radiance facial treatment mask. It revitalizes, comforts, and provides intense hydration and vital in nutrients. Oops, I almost said ingredients, vital nutrients. So this one again, felt really good. I didn't see a dramatic change in my skin. It just felt really good on it. And last but not least, we have the Detox Max from Floripi. Floripi or Floripi, I'm not sure. But it's the Jasmine Peppermint infused with peppermint aromatherapy. This one smelled really good. It definitely is a cloth mask. I do notice that this one doesn't stay on my face as well. I don't know why, but yeah, I do enjoy it though. I definitely the detox because when this face is like, Ooh, all congested. I definitely need to detox it every once in a while. So this one actually smelled really, really good. So real quick, I know I talked about so many sheet masks like that I've used. I definitely have to say my number one favorite again is Patchology. So if you guys are looking for any good sheet masks to try out, definitely recommend Patchology. Okay, so we're totally gonna be going out of order in this. So I have here a Bath and Body Works candle and this is Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. And yeah, this wasn't my favorite scent because I don't know, it just wasn't my favorite scent. I really like the fruity ones, and if I like cinnamon, it has to be like cinnamon apple or something. Vanilla, cinnamon spice vanilla, it just smelled like a cinnamon roll, and I was like, mm. This was definitely one of Joel's scents, not one of mine, not the biggest fan of it. But yeah, if you guys like cinnamon rolls, you'll probably like this one. All right, so another candle that I have here is called the Sun Drenched Mango, and I'm sure you guys remember these from my candle haul that I did a while ago, and this one definitely did like grow on me. It definitely has like that tanning lotion smell to it, but it also has a little bit of mango in it. It definitely smells way better when you're burning it than when you smell it like right here. But yeah, I did enjoy this one. Would I repurchase it? Probably not, but it definitely did like grow on me. Dude, you guys, I might totally be able to fit this empties video into two videos and not three. But okay, so next up I have some shaving cream here. I know, why are you talking about shaving cream? Well, I usually use Skintimate. But recently, I have kind of gone away from skin to mint and I've been using the Aveeno because I have such sensitive skin that I saw this and I was like, dermatologist tested, it's supposed to be really good for a sensitive skin. So I was like, you know, let's give this a try. And I honestly am already on my third bottle. No, yeah, I'm also on my third bottle already. So I only put one of them in here just to show you guys. But if you guys have very sensitive skin like I do and like problems with razors and stuff, Definitely try out the Avena one. It's amazing. I really, really have been enjoying this one. All right, so next up here, I have some makeup products. And these are the Too Faced Hangover RX 
primers. So you know I love this primer. It doesn't break me out. The only thing is I totally wish that I kept my makeup on longer. It doesn't affect your longevity of your makeup at all, which really sucks, but it definitely adds like an extra surge of moisture to put on underneath your foundation if you are very dry. It's got coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers. Also, it is silicone free, which is why I think it works so well for my skin. So if you have sensitive skin that's a little bit dry, definitely try this out. All right, so I'm gonna be ending this empties video on an eye cream, and this is the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream. I love this. It is amazing. It is like the only eye cream that doesn't like sting my eyes after a period of time. Like sometimes I will start using an eye cream, it feels really good, and then all of a sudden, like a couple weeks later, it will start stinging my eyes. I don't know what it is, but this one didn't do that. It feels amazing. I saw a huge difference in my fine lines underneath my eyes. So yeah, definitely recommend the Bobbi Brown one, you guys. A lot of people rave about this one and I definitely know why. I wanna repurchase another one, but I have other ones that I'm like, oh, just gotta get rid of those because those were pricey too. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing the Bobbi Brown one. If you guys are looking for an eye cream, I highly recommend this one. All right, so those are all the empties that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video. I will definitely be doing more empties later on, so definitely stay tuned. And I just wanna say how much I love empties videos because you really get like a full review of products because you've used them, used them all up, all that fun stuff. So I definitely am gonna start doing empties at the end of every single month. So that way it doesn't like load up like this one did. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for future empties. And if you guys enjoyed this empties video, basically going into my trash, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, so next up I have a shampoo right here and oh no, it's a conditioner. I really enjoyed both of these. I have nothing bad 